One, two, three, four, five. I won't be coming back to New York, ladies and gentlemen. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, this is the couch. you all over the world. This is the couch, and yeah. I'm Egypt Thompson, and we also have James, Anthony, and John. And uh, we're going to talk about, uh, I guess, some of our career moves. Our last tape got cut off when we talked about 9-11 and stuff like that. So I guess the university wants to complete that uh, <laughs> tough subject. But we are going to pray for the folks in Hawaii and uh, Chile. But let's talk about um, career, kind of like weird jobs we've had and, you know, probably people don't know. Like, what was your best uh, job that you had growing up? Best job. Or like a place you always wanted to work. Like, I always wanted to work at Baskin Robbins and they would never hire me. I went to scoop. It was fun. I don't know. I just put in the app and she, I guess I wouldn't qualify to scoop ice cream. And that's How about you like flavors? Well, yeah, what would make you want to work at Baskin Robbins? Because all the flavors and choice, it was pink and chocolate dots. It was oh, amazing. It was, like a, it was like Barbie Dreamhouse that was chilly. Okay. <laughs> what, what, is there a place you've always wanted to work? I always wanted to be a teacher. Like That's I used to play school and stuff, whatever. Yeah. I wanted to be the principal. We used to have like, play you know, school. yeah, we used yeah, to play school. school. Yeah, Me and my cousin stuff. Like playing doctor. Well, I eventually did That's become stuff. a teacher. Can awesome. listen? Anybody listen? So I, I became a teacher. I taught school for four years. Loved it. Loved the kids. But I'm a performer, so at some point it was like I was itching to be on stage again, and it's very time consuming, especially your first couple of years. Yeah. But then I worked. You know, when you're a performer, like we're all musicians and whatever we do. You know, you end up doing these real odd jobs. jobs. Yeah. Like, like uh, what is, what's something weird that you do? Or have you always been pretty, like, 9 to 5? No, okay. no. The Army is probably the weirdest thing. The weirdest? Okay. Yeah, the eight years of it. Eight hey, yeah. years. Really? Army, what was that? What, what, yeah, what, yeah, what was that? Like, boot camp and all awesome. that? It was? Yeah. That was? Now, did you have any problem with the whole don't ask, don't tell? Was no, no. It never, it never came up. That's good. Were you Navy, Military, Army? Army. Okay, Army. now what, what was your weird job? <laughs> I made bagels. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> did you sing bagels. and make bagels, or no. was it just regular bagel making? I did actually did, sink. I didn't make bagels. I was used to have to be there at 5 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. So while everybody else was working, I would be in, I'm, I'm going to the bathroom. Wow. <laughs> and yeah. I would be in the bathroom. Well, I worked for Starbucks. So, so I knew I was yeah. going to perform always. Yeah. yeah I, worked, <laughs> I worked at Starbucks. Like, my, my weird job was at Starbucks. I worked at McDonald's. But that's not really weird. Starbucks. I mean, meaning that, meaning that, it like, was in your career. Career, stress. like, all yeah. the odd I'm from Seattle, yeah. so that's, I mean, that's probably. Yeah, good. well, actually, I was in L.A. when I worked for Starbucks. But the reason why I started working at Starbucks because they have part, part, you know, you get benefits. Insurance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, insurance. Yeah. 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 So it was a great job for, for a performer. The hours are flexible. You know, they open pretty early and pretty late. But, um. You know, when you're a performer, you don't want to do nothing else. No, right. just sing yeah. or whatever you do. But my you know. favorite odd job, I worked at Marshall Fields, what is now Macy's in Chicago. Yeah. Um, I was I worked at uh, men's underwear. Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. was so fun. Yeah. I was a fragrance model. I used to spray people with colognes and learn about different Tags. music. No, it was amazing. Yeah. And it paid me like this. It was twenty five dollars an hour. It was amazing. Yeah. And it was in like the I don't mm -hmm. want to age me, but yeah, it was like in the early nineties. So yeah. Like, now, well, um, see, my parents didn't let me work until I was in, my first job was in after college. That's how they didn't believe in us working. They just I worked at Wendy's for three days too. I worked for McDonald's for two days. I tried to tell them how to redo their French fries. Yeah. <laughs> they were, I just thought I burned my face off of with it. The, they didn't really train me. They just said go and really I, like burn my face <laughs> on some some Skilling chicken. Out. Oh wow! Did you water. Them? I did not. I told them that thank you for the job, and I was and really mad because I was singing with New G then, and um, <laughs> they was having a photo shoot that night. Like, I missed it. Oh no! I missed now it. also now now that we're talking about career stuff. Now what's the goal? <laughs> what do you want in uh, 2010? Let's talk about that. 2010. Really yeah. You know, this, is, this is pivotal for me because, you know, like I was in Japan for two years performing, but it's different when you're doing someone else's music. I was working for a corporation, I was performing at Universal, but I'm really, really excited about doing my own music. I've been writing all of this year. It's nothing like getting on stage and doing what you love to do and just your own compositions and stuff like that. And whether it's singing for two people or two million people. Oh, so you have a website. What's your website? Yeah, it's, well, I have Facebook and MySpace. You can find me at artist J Connor. Okay. And my website is www.jsongs.com. And, um, and for me, my Oh, is... my last name, yes. Artist J the letter J, C-O-N-N-O-R. Yeah, let's not make that much. <laughs> <laughs> the producer oh, told me to, um, right. and then, um, one anyway. word. And then, um, I guess for me, my, my, my different ways you can find me is now The Couch, and I'm gonna change the channel to The Couch, because trying to find it under Black Retreat is terrible, but my goal is to actually have this show on uh, Bravo or NBC. Hmm. Cool. What about you? 
goals for you? The goal is um, to work on my business plan for my bed and breakfast. Bed and breakfast, all right. Awesome. Where, where, where is that? I'm not sure. You oh should try God. Palm Springs. Palm Springs so needs a black face in there, and it's so mm. affordable, and they, they need some, <clears throat> some, some, some love. So you try Palm Springs. What about you? Well, in 2010, I am really about just reinventing okay. who I am. I wanna, I'm just into learning this year, just going back and refreshing, <clears throat> going back to school and refreshing and just finding out just who I am right. That's what now. Right. Yeah. And also I want to uh, say what's up to Selena Johnson. I heard that you are a friend of right here. Selena, and I want you on our couch. Uh, we're waiting for the album to come out. So please go out and buy Selena Johnson. If you don't know her, who she is, you are, you are sleeping on some wonderful stuff. Oh, so can, I, can I give a plug for her too? Yeah, go ahead. Selena, Japan is waiting for you. Because what I heard about you in Japan, this Japanese boy was like, you don't know Selena? Yes. And I got hip. So the Japanese yes. know who you are, man. So we try, let's give a big up for Selena Johnson. Keep watching, keep uh, writing in, let us know. Because I don't know that you watch the show, because I was actually going to give up, and uh, a very good friend of mine here, what, what's his name, Ken Austin, told me that he oh. loves the show, and okay. yeah, all his friends know about it. So write in and let us know, and let me know, because that makes me feel really good. And if you enjoy somebody on the couch, is anybody single on the couch? Because our fans write in. I'm single. Yeah. Single. Single, you know, single, single. what is complicated um, mean? Yeah. You know, on Facebook it says complicated. We're going we to talk about it. We're going to talk about it. This yeah. is the couch. Keep watching. Egypt Thompson. James. Anthony and John and it's the couch. Peace. The uh